everyone, so today I'm doing my beginner's makeup recommendations, beginner's makeup kit, cheap makeup video. I've kind of got a few different selections of products from foundations to lipsticks to eyeshadows etc etc. I kind of chose my favourite colours from each but um, when I show one product I pretty much mean that every other shade of their product is amazing as well. So first of all for primers, I've got two here. One is a proper primer that's quite affordable and this is the L'Oreal Luma Magique base. I think this is awesome for a primer. What a primer does if you're a beginner and you don't know is basically you put it on before you put on any of your foundation, concealer, powder etc. And it's going to help smooth out your skin surface so your foundation blends on nicer. It'll fill in any pores and thin small lines. It'll moisturize and hydrate your skin. This particular one acts as kind of like a loom, like a, what, I don't know how to say it. Illuminates your skin so it brightens up your skin and makes it look really, really pretty. It'll also help make your foundation last a lot longer than if you were to just wear foundation without one. Um, I think that it provides a much better finish so that's why I'd recommend using a primer but if you're just starting off makeup you can go straight onto foundation and just make sure you moisturize your skin first. That won't be a problem but if you want the best results go with a primer. If you've been watching my videos you know that I often use my BB cream as a primer. A BB cream is basically like a tinted moisturizer sunscreen skincare primer everything in one. So you can use this alone or you can use it before foundation. If you want to see how it looks alone then go to my school um, makeup tutorial back to school makeup tutorial link it right here and you'll be able to see what a BB cream looks like alone. So those are the two primers I would recommend and they're both pretty affordable although if you live in New Zealand nothing here is affordable so I'm pretty much showing you the cheapest things you can get and I will write a full list down below with links where they are applicable. For foundations the cheapest you can really get in New Zealand that is good quality is Revlon Colorstay. It's super high coverage so if you don't want like a lot of coverage stick to a BB cream but if you do want coverage Revlon Colorstay is awesome. I prefer the oily combination skin formula even though I have normal to dry skin just because it doesn't oxidize as much which means it doesn't go orange. I find that it lasts really really well as well. If you want to get something online for quite cheap you can go to ASOS and try to bourgeois foundation. They're quite cheap and amazing. This is the 123 Perfect. If you search that on my channel you'll be able to find a few looks where I've used this and it's just a beautiful finish medium light to medium coverage it is buildable though the number one powder i would suggest on a budget is the rimmel stay matte powder it looks like this it's like 12 bucks from new zealand um and it is amazing the only thing is it doesn't last ages like the actual powder will run out in like a month or two because you do go through it quite fast rather than high-end products which you need less product and you kind of don't run out as fast but it is really really good for the price so I'd recommend Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel and they also have a translucent colour which is perfect because it'll match anyone it's basically like an invisible powder which you just put on your foundation to set it and it'll make sure it lasts all day long for bronzers I love two these are the affordable ones I love my number one is my Bourjois Paris one it looks like this you can get off ASOS it's amazing I've been using it for a couple years now I'm using it today all of the makeup I'm wearing at the moment you'll be seeing in the upcoming three videos where I use the brushes I mentioned in my last video and all of this makeup here that I'm mentioning now will be featured in the next ones well not all of it but a selection of it the other one I quite like I use it occasionally not often but for a cheap one it is really good. It's the Maybelline Dream Terror Sun Bronzer and it looks like this. It's a really nice light shade that just looks really natural on the skin. I forgot to mention concealer. The cheapest one I recommend would be the Age Rewind by Maybelline. They've changed the packaging on this a couple of times but the Age Rewind formula is awesome. If you can find it, I recommend this one. If you're a beginner you may not necessarily need concealer. You can decide for yourself what out of all of the stuff I'm mentioning you need or don't need but concealer I mean you just need to put it under your eyes mostly if you've got acne scars then your foundation should cover most of it anyway next for blush I've got three no four different brands I absolutely love there's a lot of cheap blushes that are amazing the first brand e.l.f. their studio blushes this one is in future fusion it's my favorite blush ever if you want to see what any of these things look like, then just type them into my channel. It should come up with a video where I use them because I've pretty much used every single one of these things in a video somewhere. The next blush is the one I'm wearing today and it's Angel by NYX. All of the NYX blushes are amazing. They have a huge range of colors, which are really cool. They're really affordable as well and I'll put all the websites down below where you can buy these. Next are the Wet n Wild ones. The Heather Silk Blush by Wet n Wild is just phenomenal and it's only like $3.00. It's really pigmented though, you have to be very careful, don't put on too much. You literally need to just tap your blush, brush in once to the blush. 
and you'll have enough. And then next I have the Australis ones. These are amazing. Australis always has really good deals in Kmart and Farmers and things where if you buy a couple things you usually get something half price or free or something. This one here is so pretty. It looks like this and it's so pigmented and so easy to blend out. It's just really good quality. Next are eyeshadows. My favourite cheap branded eyeshadows. Definitely go to Wet n Wild. I'll put some links down below where you can get them. My favourite two palettes are the Silent Treatment palette and the Vanity palette. And both of these were used on my eye look today which I'll show you how to do in two more days. So Thursday I think. If you really want to shell out, I would recommend getting like a Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay because that will last you forever and it will have every colour you ever need. But if you just really want to go check to see if you like like the whole concept of eyeshadow then definitely go with Wet n Wild first. But although Urban Decay is expensive for the palette, it's worth it and if you save up for it for a few weeks it'll be worth it because you'll get so much use out of it. Next for eyebrows, eyebrows are a necessity. I don't care who you are or where you're from, you need to do your eyebrows. Even if you think you have perfect eyebrows, just take an eyebrow powder or an eyeshadow that's like two or three shades lighter than your natural natural hair colour and then just fill them in lightly and it'll just frame your face. I personally use this Ash Eyebrow Kit by e.l.f. It's the perfect colour for me and just looks really nice and natural. Also for eyebrows you can use the e.l.f. mascara. If you really do not want to fill in your eyebrows just brush some of this through and it'll literally just make them look so much nicer because it'll push all the hairs in the same direction and they'll just stick there all day and they'll be a lot tidier looking and less unruly if you know what I mean. Underneath your eyeshadow you need to use a primer for the same purpose as you would wear a primer underneath your foundation. Primers underneath your eyeshadow just help your eyeshadow stay all day, helps you blend the eyeshadows on much smoother and helps prevent against any creasing or lines forming. It makes the colours so much more vivid as well. I absolutely love Solid Rose's eye primer. This is really really nice and thick and it really makes the colours pop. It also makes my eyeshadow last like literally all day. And the other things I like are the coloured tattoos by Maybelline. These are amazing if you want a coloured base so you can literally wear this alone or else you can put eyeshadow on top of it and make them super dramatic and stand out. For eyeliner I have two that I love, really cheap ones. The e.l.f. liquid eyeliner is amazing just for starting out. It's really easy to use. I find that the applicator is really easy to use and I'm showing you how to use this on Friday I think and then my Revlon Colorstay black eyeliner is awesome it glides on perfect every single time it's so dark it stays all day so if you're looking for a pencil eyeliner this is my favorite for mascara you can check out my last favorite mascaras video which I'll link just here I show three different cheap alternatives for good mascaras on there one of them my Maybelline Colossal mascara Anything Maybelline is generally really really good. CoverGirl makes some really good ones. Mascara is a really personal thing like you'll have to go through a lot and find what you like and what you don't suit and what you do suit. Just like most of the stuff, the colours and things. When I first started out with makeup I went through so many different colours and shades of different things to figure out what I suited myself. It's just one of those processes you'll have to go through. All I can say is stick with the most neutral shades you can because they'll be the most likely to match you and then once you have a bit more knowledge of makeup you can kind of go outside of that box start exploring brighter colours and more vivid colours. So this is one of my favourite mascaras, just a really good basic volumizing, nice mascara. The last thing I have here is lipsticks, I'm not going to mention any lip glosses because I don't really have any that I think are amazing and affordable. The Australis ones are actually pretty good though I should say. But for lipsticks, love the black label lipsticks by NYX, these are fantastic. This is one of my favourite shades, India which is just a really nice pale pink. The Wet n Wild matte lipsticks which I'll link here in my video. I do a whole video of all the shades I own so you can look on there to see if there's anything that tickles your fancy. <coughs> Sorry if you just heard Zeus barking, he's barking at someone outside. He's so naughty. Stop it. I'm obsessed with this colour here, it's Lick the Icing by Australis Colour Inject. It's what I'm wearing now. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. So those are my drugstore slash cheapish slash beginners makeup kit. I can't really think of what I'm meant to call this. Beginner's makeup kit recommendations that are affordable video. I hope this helped you guys out and I'll talk to you tomorrow where I'm going to teach you how to apply foundation. Bye!